Hi everyone, welcome back. It's a beautiful day, it's sunny, but a little bit windy. <laughs> anyway, in this video, I just want to walk out here, give you a very quick update how my potted logo doing. I put the name on the screen of the variety for you. Now, this tree I ordered from Daily Food Tree a few years ago, and originally I planted in my garden, in my backyard actually. And after the first winter and the second winter, it produced. Uh, um the on more than in the autumn right it produce um the flower and then through the winter all the flower and the buds all got frozen and since then i decided to duck the plant up and like <laughs> at the beginning i throw to one the of the corner of my uh, my yard and my husband went out he asked me if we still keep the tree or not or try to give it away at the end i decided to pot it up in this quite large container this one around 80 centimeter width or maybe 60 centimeter deep as well the container quite sturdy so it had been staying in this container i think for two years now last year we got very good food from it um so um this year i overwinter it under our our car pot again i only care the tree out a few days ago actually and i have been watering it now during the time it stay under our car pot i would a little bit neglect to water it because the water keep running out to uh, you know out um the floor um of under the car pot and wet everywhere and i I don't like it, so I try not to water it too much. But um, I did notice, I think some of the flower or the shoot got the shrivel. I think maybe lack of water. Uh, so I think I have to cut some of this stem off because you see, I think some of this name won't go dry out, I think. Yeah, most of them, they are fine though. The fruits, uh, this bunch of the fruits, they were set, I think, before the winter and they looking much bigger now. Um, and the other bunches, they still looking good too. I'm sorry about the wind. I don't mi wear microphone at the moment, by the way. Um, yeah, I think some of the food, this one is a little bit dry, maybe. But all, most of them, they are fine. They, um, they looking good, actually. This one a little bit shivel. Yeah, this one a little bit shiver. Anyway, it's is it my fault because I didn't give it enough water. Uh and since because I really want to carry it out so I can give it plenty of water that it needs. And uh, a lot of the other uh, flowering buds over here, they turn to very nice food. And the food over here sets very well, actually. Um, don't seem to have uh, any shrivel or anything, which is wonderful. So I can have a lot of food from this tree again. Uh, last year, I, I got, I don't know, quite a few bunches. The first year when um you know, when it got on shrivel and <laughs> um because it's were like in the garden so i got only one foot left me and my husband we love it love it and since then i'm very much i treasure this uh, tree and this is the japanese uh, variety nagasika ways i think that's that's the way uh that's a um, no but the name uh but i put the name on the screen to try to make sure but i'm very happy with the amount of the food that this tree is set for this year anyway i think several times more than last year that i got even though some of the flower um they just shrivel or maybe did not get um uh pollinated uh because the fruit from the tree or the flower from the tree is bloom in the winter uh, or in late autumn and then um some of them though they were in bloom um they were blooming in the middle winter at, at that time they uh, we didn't have much of bees come around and it was quite cold as well so maybe some of them they did not got uh, pollinated but I'm still very happy look at this bunch um, let's see how many foot I got from this bunch let's get, get with some of this shiver one first and we can count it's number one two three four five um, four five um, six seven six right seven eight nine ten uh, 11, 12, 12 foot from one little bunch uh, over here. That is very good for me anyway. This one too, quite good actually. Yeah, very happy. Anyway, <laughs> but one thing though, uh, because of the foot or also the 
the flower they set the foot in the winter make sure you water uh, the tree as well because like me I I did not water it enough so some of the bunches over here on the top here got shriveled yeah I did water very well of the container for the last two days and this day I top up some sugar cane mulch for, for it so it keep the moisture in oh that is good you can see it's small underneath here so that is wonderful I love the food from this tree so much so that's why I order another tree from Daily Food Tree last autumn That's one I reported it Um, Yeah, I did show you in one of the videos long, long ago, right? I might just come over there and show you again or to the picture on the screen so you can see what does it look like And here my tiny little local tree So far, I haven't done anything and so far no more shoot uh, from uh, the rootstock coming at the base here I hope it's not gonna come again but anyway I keep keep an eye on it <laughs> um, you can see that no new growth nothing I've been watering it uh, maybe I should fertilize it as well and the other day with the cold and the, with the frost on the shoot of my persimmon tree on shrivel and gone so I hope that this will shoot up again I don't know when maybe a few more weeks and another new knee uh, by my baby persimmon as well. This is Ichiki Kijio. Um, this one I ordered at the same time as my tiny uh, little, tiny little local tree. The same from daily food tree as well. And on the shoot got shivo too, but dial on on the side here. Um, yeah. Anyway, hope it will shoot back for me. I won't expect any food from this tree maybe for two years. By the way. So that's this guy. I hope that this video encouraged you that you can grow food tree in the ground. Maybe try to find find a way to grow them in a container like I do. Um, yeah, certainly this tree is one of my winner over here, losing so many food uh, from the fox the other day. Like, Look at it, my nectarine tree. I've been checking at them. Uh, but yeah, every time I look at them, is there any food set for me? Or in any the baby food left for me? But hard to tell at the moment. I know a lot of them they just got shrivel and blackened. Yep, I know, but yeah, you can see that the food are blackened over here. I hope you can see quite quiet at the moment. But anyway, yeah, and the local tree doing well, so give me a lot of food this year. That's wonderful. Um, and I just have to make sure I fortunate it, give it water and plenty of sunshine and I could have a very delicious food. So thank you again and see you next video. Bye bye!